determinants today we discuss the topic determinants a determinant of order 2 is an arrangement of four numbers say a b c d in two rows and two columns therefore d equal to in the first row elements a b in the second row elements c d the value of this determinant is defined to be ad minus bc a determinant is usually denoted by capital letter and its elements are denoted by small letters determinant of order 3 if a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 and a3 b3 c3 are real or complex numbers then a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 is a determinant of order 3 here a1 b1 c1 form the first row a2 b2 c2 the second row and a3 b3 c3 the third row the three rows are denoted by r1 r2 and r3 respectively similarly a1 a2 a3 form the first column b1 b2 b3 the second one and c1 c2 c3 the third column the three columns are denoted by c1 c2 and c3 respectively the value or expansion of this determinant is given by a1 into second order determinant b2 c2 b3 c3 minus b1 into second order determinant a2 c2 a3 c3 plus c1 into second order determinant a2 b2 a3 b3 finally the value of the determinant is a1 into in bracket b2 c3 minus b3 c2 bracket complete minus b1 into in bracket a2 c3 minus a3 c2 bracket complete plus c1 into a2 b3 minus a3 b2 bracket complete in short each of the first row element is multiplied by a second order determinant obtained by omitting the row and column in which the element occurs the signs of the products being alternately positive and negative finally we have to add all the products properties of determinants evaluation of determinants becomes easy with the help of the following properties of determinants property number 1 the value of a determinant remains unchanged if its rows and columns are interchanged using this property it can be seen that a determinant can be expanded using the elements in the first column also second property if any two rows or columns of a determinant are interchanged then the value of the determinant changes in sign only property 3 if any two rows or columns of a determinant are identical then the value of the determinant is zero property 4 if all the elements of any row or column are multiplied by some number k then the value of the determinant is k times the value of the original determinant property 5 if each element of any row or column of a determinant is expressed as a sum of two terms then the determinant can be expressed as a sum of two determinants property number 6 if each element of any row or column of a determinant is multiplied by some constant and these products are added to the corresponding elements of any other row or column then the value of the determinant remains unchanged note that the transformation like r1 changes to r1 plus 3 r2 or c1 changes to c1 plus 1 upon 11 c2 are allowed but transformation like r2 changes to r1 minus r2 or c3 changes to half c3 plus c1 are not allowed kramer's rule we can solve the simultaneous equations by using the determinants we can find a formula for the values of the variables in terms of determinants this formula was given by mathematician kramer 
and hence it is called as Cramer's rule. Cramer's rule for two variables. Consider the two simultaneous equations a1x plus b1y equal to c1 and a2x plus b2y equal to c2. Then x equal to delta x upon delta and y equal to delta y upon delta if delta is not equal to 0. Here the determinant delta is formed by taking the coefficients of x and y in the given equations in their order. This is called the determinant of the coefficients. The determinant delta x is obtained from delta by replacing the coefficients a1, a2 of x by c1, c2 respectively which are the constant terms on the right hand side of the given equations. Similarly, the determinant delta y is obtained from delta by replacing the coefficients b1, b2 of y by c1, c2 respectively. Kramer's rule for equations involving three variables. We now extend Kramer's rule to three simultaneous equations in three unknowns x, y and z as follows. Let a1x plus b1y plus c1z equal to d1, a2x plus b2y plus c2z equal to d2 and a3x plus b3y plus c3z equal to d3 be three simultaneous equations in x, y and z respectively. Then by Kramer's rule x equal to delta x upon delta, y equal to delta y upon delta and z equal to delta z upon delta if delta not equal to 0. Here delta is determinant a1 b1 c1, a2 b2 c2, a3 b3 c3 that is it is the determinant of coefficients of x, y and z in their order. Delta x is obtained from delta by replacing the coefficients of x which are in the first column by the corresponding values of d that is constants. Delta y is obtained from delta by replacing the coefficients of y which are in the second column by the corresponding d's. Delta z is obtained from delta by replacing the coefficients of z which are in the third column by the corresponding d's. Consistency of equations. Consider the following three equations in two unknowns x and y. a1x plus b1y equal to c1, a2x plus b2y equal to c2, a3x plus b3y equal to c3. If these simultaneous equations are satisfied by the same values of x and y then these equations are said to be consistent equations. The criterion for equations to be consistent is determinant a1 b1 c1, a2 b2 c2, a3 b3 c3 should be equal to 0. The above condition for consistency is obtained on the assumption that the given equations have a unique solution. However, this condition can be satisfied for equations which have no solution. Hence, we have to ascertain whether the equations have a solution or not before applying the condition of consistency. In the example, the equations given for consistency will have a common solution. With the help of determinant, we can find area of a triangle. Assume this result without proof. If a x1 y1, b x2 y2 and c x3 y3 are the vertices of a triangle ABC, then the area of this triangle is given by delta equal to half into determinant x1 y1 1, x2 y2 1, x3 y3 1. Note that if the value of the determinant comes out to be negative, we have to consider its absolute value. Using this, we can have the following. Number one, the points ABC are collinear if delta equal to zero. Number two, if one of the vertices is the origin, then delta equal to half into determinant 
x1 y1 x2 y2 that is delta equal to half into in bracket x1 y2 minus x2 y1 